Welcome to Crip Point Awareness Channel from Stockholm, Sweden. My name is Sayyad and today I want to talk about EOS proxy. You can set up a proxy which can cast vote on behalf of you. But first let's look at disclaimer. Remember that this is an educational channel. The whole purpose of this channel is to raise awareness. Let's now come back to the topic. In the EOS governance framework, you as an EOS token holder, you have lot of responsibility. You are supposed to cast your vote and elect 21 block producers. These block producers will then become the custodian of the EOS network. They are responsible for the security and integrity of the blockchain and the whole EOS ecosystem. They are also responsible to provide you the needed resources, for example, the CPU, the network bandwidth and the RAM. So in the EOS ecosystem, you as a token holder have lot of responsibility. You need to think again and again why you are choosing a particular block producers. You have to spend some time, you have to spend some energy, you have to do some investigation. There are about 400 block producers that are registered. You have to go through these 400 block producers and then you have to see which block producer stands where, what they are saying. You have to go to their websites and read about them. You have to look at their team members. You have to check their profiles. You have to look into their background, what kind of education they have, what kind of competence they have. Do they understand security and privacy? You have to look into their core values. You have to understand how they are building up their nodes and their systems. In short, you have to spend some time and energy to do these kind of investigations. You have to do some research work and then you are supposed to cast your vote. In the EOS governance framework, you as an EOS token holder, you have a lot of responsibility. You need to understand your responsibility. I know that these things take time and not all the token holders, they have a lot of time. So that is why within the EOS governance framework, there is something called setting up a proxy. So the EOS governance framework allows you as a token holder to set up your proxy, which basically means that you can authorize someone else to cast vote on behalf of you. This is not something that is new in the EOS ecosystem. Actually, EOS has borrowed this concept from Steemit. In Steemit, people are using proxies every day. Casting a vote is not a one-time job. In the EOS governance framework, you can cast your vote as many times as you like. Maybe you can cast your vote a couple of times per week. And you should do that. Don't just cast your vote one time and then forget. No, if you have already casted your vote, you can think again and do your research work. And if you want to change your vote, you can do that you can cast a new vote at any time. In an ideal world, you as a token holder, you have to continuously perform research work. You have to continuously look at the performance of the different block producers and then you have to act accordingly. So casting a vote is not a one-time job. And yes, I know that it is taking a lot of time to do this kind of research work. It takes a lot of time to look into the websites of the different block producers and try to understand what they are doing. So that is why EOS has this concept of setting up a proxy. So basically, if you can't do this kind of research work, if you do not have time to spend into these activities, then you can easily set a proxy and you can authorize someone else who can vote on your behalf. I will now show you how you can set up a proxy 
in an easy and simple way. Basically, you can use a toolkit, EOS toolkit, together with the Scatter Chrome extension. Let's look how this works. I will use Sweden Cornet as a proxy. I also recommend you to use Sweden Cornet as a proxy. I know them. They are fantastic people. They know information security and privacy and they are proficient in their work. They have a good team. You can look into their website if you want. So I would recommend you to use Sweden Cornet as a proxy so that they can cast vote on your behalf and they are the block producers so they can cast vote but you do not have to use a Sweden Cornet. You can use some other block producer as a proxy or even so basically you can set up any account as a proxy but that account has to be registered as a proxy and Sweden Cornet has registered themselves as a proxy. You can use EOS Toolkit together with Scatter Chrome extension to set up a proxy. Let me show you how it works. So this is EOS Toolkit that you can use to set up a proxy. This EOS Toolkit, it works together with the Scatter Chrome extension. If you have Scatter Chrome extension, well and good. Otherwise, you can get it from here, from the Scatter website. So this is a Scatter Chrome extension. If you have already a wallet in the Scatter and you have configured your key pair properly, then it's well and good. Otherwise, you have to create a new wallet and then you have to import your key pair in the Scatter. You have to import the key pair that hold your tokens. Once you have done that, you have to connect your account with the EOS Toolkit. So this is the EOS Toolkit Mino to connect your scatter account once you have connected your scatter account you can go to manage voting so here is manage voting and then here you can see set proxy so choose set proxy once you have done that here you can type the name of the proxy that you want to choose i have recommended you to choose a sweden core nut but you can use anything else but you can only use that account which has already been set up into the EOS ecosystem to become a proxy. Sweden Cornet, they have already set up themselves to become a proxy, so you can choose them very easily. Here you have to choose your proxy, for example, Sweden Cornet, and then you have to enter your account here. And after that, you just have to press create. Then there will be a dialogue that will ask you to authorize Sweden Cornet to become a proxy for you, meaning that you are going to authorize Sweden Cornet to cast votes on behalf of you. Nothing more, nothing less. Please remember that setting up a proxy is a very common thing in Steemit and now it will also become a very common thing in EOS. So this was everything that I wanted to talk about today. I will make also more videos in the future. There are also other people who will be making videos and publishing in this awareness channel. Please give us your feedback. We would also like to hear from you what you would like to hear from us. Please subscribe to this channel and also if you like this video, show your support by smashing the likes. Thank you to all of you. See you next time.